Okay, call this video the best camera teacher, and I'm not referring to myself. I mean, I've taught a lot of stuff, including uh, a concealed carry instructor for the Department of Criminal Justice, taught archery lessons and stuff. I'm not referring to myself here. Um, but, you know, you're not going to have any teacher that's going to travel around with you all the time teaching you photography classes unless you've got a bucket wad of money. doesn't matter who they are. Um, the best photographic teacher you got if you start out in photography or if you're uh, trying to get better from, you know, uh, an, an amateur or intermediate level is to throw your camera and spot meter and then into manual or at least aperture priority. You know, if you feel uncomfortable in manual mode, so what? Um, like I said, the biggest teacher that you'll ever have, and I've said this in one variety, one modality before, but it needs to be said in a different way because nobody seems to heed it, and everybody that actually does heed it is like, oh God, you're right, you know. I like improved my photography like a, a million fold overnight just by making a bunch of mistakes. Spot meter and start seeing what the light does. Okay, I'm throwing spot meter. Okay, I'm going to throw it in aperture priority or manual preferably and see what the hell things do, you know. Go out to some scenic place. You can take a lot of photographs with various lighting. You know, obviously, that wouldn't be the time to waste people's time if you're going to do on a model, you know, take someone out and do a shoot with them because you're going to be experimenting uh, to exceed, to excel in your photography um, by, uh, you know, wasting shots by actually making a bunch of mistakes. Um, and uh, this, for, you cannot tell someone to how to visualize the light. They really will have to make the mistakes. And even if you have the best team of uh, photography uh, instructors, you know, uh, behind someone, you know, they can give them a lot of really helpful hints. But if you want it for free and you want it awesome, go out and spot meter your camera, okay? And then you will learn immediately what a camera does because most people don't realize that. They don't realize that every camera, no matter how expensive or how cheap, it wants to turn everything into gray sludge. And when you tell the camera what you, you want a meter for, you know, spot meter, recompose, or meter, take a shot, just see what it's doing. It's like, well, that's a decent shot. Yeah, but it looks like a snapshot. Everything is kind of, you know, it's all evenly eliminated. That's what your camera did. You had it in program mode. You had matrix metering. Depending on the camera, it doesn't matter. You call it matrix metering. It's all still the same damn thing. Matrix metering, center weight, spot meter. Your camera is going to turn whatever it is focused on, whether that's everything, center portion or spot, it's going to turn everything based upon that selection into sludge. You know, kind of like this table here, except like this part of the table, actually this part of the table. That's the only thing it wants to do. That's the only thing it knows how to do. Most expensive camera, you know, the best thing the most expensive camera got has got is if you throw it in matrix metering, is it is going to come up with the best possible evaluation for the correct exposure. And it could be an awesome shot, but it could look like crap. And the reason for that is it will look like a snapshot is because you let the camera make the decision on the artistic end of your composition. And when you've done that, you've made a mistake. Now, there is nobody that is going to say this video that I'm making right now is in any way, way, shape, or form incorrect because it is 100% correct. Go out, spot meter with your camera, throw it in manual mode, start making a bunch of damn mistakes. You will see immediately. Now, some people might not have a compositional eye to know what the hell, you know, not everything has to be blasted with light. You know, uh, I've seen a lot of pictures people sent me that, uh, Everything, they'll take a model shot or take a shot of their family, just everything is blah, you know, they just blast it with lights. Well, it's perfectly exposed, like you're right, uh, but there's no depth, there's no differentiation between the specular, uh, the diffuse, and the shadow. It's like, well, it's perfectly eliminated, I mean, look at it, even the pose is right, and, you know, it's like, yeah, but you had a speed light or you had a studio strobe and it just went wah, just blasted everything. Okay, well, everything's perfectly illuminated, there's no shadow definition, there's no definition that actually will make a lens shine, for example. I mean, everything is just, you just blasted it all with light. I mean, what a lens can do, I've talked about endlessly, as far as depth rendition via bokeh and micro contrast and uh, rendered depth, but there's another depth that has to do with lighting, obviously so. It has nothing to do with the lens or the camera. It has to do with how the hell you light the situation. Obviously, if you're out, out and about and something's far away, you mean, you're shafted as far as what the hell the light's gonna be. Um, but, you know, once again, 
you can't add any light, but you can certainly spot meter for what it is you want. I mean, you can see some distant far off landscape and uh, you say, well, you know, I can't hit that at a thousand yards away, so I'm just going to take the picture. Click. Oh, okay. Uh, did you spot meter that? No, I had it in program mode. You know, I can't add any light, so, you know, I had it in program mode. Well, here's an idea. You know, on that landscape shot, you stick in a spot meter. You know, what is it you want to expose for? Maybe you want to give some drama. I mean, the old saying that less is more is, is true. I mean, that's why, uh, you know, the same woman in a Playboy shot, analogously here, you know, is a lot hotter than some chick in a, you know, a dirty magazine. It's like, well, it's too much information. I don't want to see all that, you know? It's like, well, you're seeing everything there. You know, it's like, yeah, that's kind of gross. I don't want to see all that stuff. Um, you know, how about a nice lingerie shot? You know, less is more. The same thing is true of lighting and the people that take the shots and it's, it's a mistake, but I understand, well, you want a perfectly eliminate situation and let the camera, you know, s turn your brain off and turn the camera on, stick it matrix metering. Yeah, and then the camera's going to make a choice to go wah, just perfectly uh, as best it can, or with your speed light, illuminate everything. So you got a nice flat shot that looks like a snapshot. You to click, and a little pop-up flash goes bing. Start seeing the light. The point is you need to start seeing the light, and the best way to actually do that is to go out and make some damn mistakes. Go find a nice scenic place with a lot of different lighting. You can take pictures. I like to go to the graveyard and uh, putz around. There's a lot of animals out there, you know, bored. You know, I get stuck in the house all the time, uh, working on the computer, translating. <sighs> Gets old. But do that. Go out and fail. Uh, that failure is the surest platform for building up success in photography. I mean, I, I crap you not. Uh, nobody can deny it. Nobody can refute that. People that do it, you know, report back, Oh my God, my photography is so much better. You're right. It's like, yeah, I know I'm right. Um, so go do that. Um, you know, don't take my word for it. Go out there and fail. Stick in spot meter manual mode. And you'll start to see what the hell the light is. Now, I obviously can't help you with your compositional eye, whether you have it or not. I mean, some people think that every shot should just be wah, blasted with light. Well, that's a good shot, you know. Every, that's in focus, you know, has been correctly exposed. Yeah, but it's not very interesting. That's what I would say. Yeah. You know, it's sharp and it's perfectly illuminated, but the composition's off and everything is flat. You know, I want to see the depth of this camera, then I don't want to turn like, uh, blast it with light like my ugly face is being blasted right now. There's no specular uh, highlights to my face, there's no shadow, it's just boom. But that's because this is a video, this isn't a photograph. Nobody wants a video of my face or a photograph for that matter, but... <laughs> I think I made the point. Um, go out and fail, and that will be the best platform, and also the quickest platform, you will have to succeed in your photography. I guarantee it. Okay? Uh, let me know if I could help on anything. And, uh, man, I've been, like, captive behind the computer all day. I feel like a prisoner behind the computer, quite frankly. But, uh, anyway, I'm glad I could help in any way, shape, or form. Bye.